Hello and welcome back to this channel. Here is this video, in which we will quickly overview B12 deficiency. So let's get started. B12 is an important vitamin that helps synthesize thymidine, and hence DNA. Therefore, in its deficiency, red cell production is slow. If deficiency of B12 occurs due to any reason, and if left untreated, it can lead to megaloblastic anemia, as well as irreversible neurological complications. Vitamin B12 is found in meat, fish, and dairy products, but not in plants. During ingestion, intrinsic factor in the stomach binds B12, enabling it to be absorbed in the terminal ileum. Although, body stores of B12 are sufficient for four years, but B12 deficiency is common, occurring in up to 15% of older people. Causes of deficiency Can be dietary deficiency. For example, vegans. Malabsorption of B12 may occur, even if there is adequate dietary intake. Malabsorption can arise either in the stomach, due to lack of intrinsic factor. This may happen due to gastric pathologies, such as pernicious anemia, or in post-gastrectomy patients. Or malabsorption can arise from the causes related to the terminal ileum, such as ileal resection, Crohn's disease, bacterial overgrowth, tropical sprue, or tapeworms infestation. Deficiency may also occur in congenital metabolic errors. Clinical features General features include symptoms of anemia. There may be lemon tinge to the skin due to a combination of pallor and mild jaundice occurring due to hemolysis. Glossitis indicated by beefy red, sore tongue. And, you may also find angular chylosis. Neurological features of B12 deficiency. It is important to note that the neurological features can occur without anemia. These features include paresthesia and peripheral neuropathy. Also, subacute combined degeneration of the spinal cord can occur due to B12 deficiency. Few words about this condition. In this condition, there is a combination of dorsal column loss, causing the sensory and lower motor neuron signs, and corticospinal tract loss, causing the motor and upper motor neuron signs. Its onset is insidious, that's why it is called subacute. There is a combination of peripheral sensory neuropathy, along with both upper and lower motor neuron signs. The patient may display the classical triad of extensor plantars, with absent knee jerks and absent ankle jerks. Joint position and vibration sense are often affected first leading to ataxia, followed by stiffness and weakness if untreated. The spinothalamic tracts are preserved in this condition, so pain and temperature sensation may remain intact even in severe cases. That was about subacute combined degeneration of cord. Neuropsychiatric features. These include irritability, depression, psychosis, and dementia. Treatment. Look for the cause of deficiency and treat if possible. If the deficiency is due to malabsorption, give 1 mg hydroxocobalamin intramuscularly on alternate days for two weeks, or, if there are CNS signs, until improvement stops. Then, 1 mg intramuscularly, every three months, for life. If the cause is dietary, then after the initial IM course of B12, oral B12 can be given, between meals. Improvement is indicated by a transient marked reticulocytosis, after four to five days. As hemodopoiesis accelerates after B12 replacement, patient may develop hypokalemia and iron deficiency. Therefore, look for these during management and give potassium and iron replacement as well, as needed. If there is pernicious anemia, look for other autoimmune diseases as well. Supplementation usually improves peripheral neuropathy within the first three to six months, but has little effect on cord signs. Patients do best if treated as soon as possible after the onset of symptoms. And this is it for this video. We hope you have learned some useful points as usual. If so, don't forget to share with your colleagues as well. Also consider subscribing to our channel. 
If you are looking for useful medical posts or medical quizzes, do visit our websites. The links are given in the description.